good Indian women don't drink or smoke or party or dress in provocative ways. Good Indian girls aren't very outspoken. My name is Namisha Panot. When I was in art school, I took third year figurative painting and I really learned how to work with oil. While I was doing that, I really fell in love with the gaze and how you could say so much with just the way that figure is looking at you. I painted myself wearing a white langa and smoking a cigar, very directly looking at the viewer in a confrontational way. I wanted to portray that as a badass bride, I knew that I was being judged, potentially. So I looked back at the viewer. The winter break comes along, and this is 2012 now. I took the painting home at the end of the semester, and um, when I brought it home, my parents did not like it at all all they're just like what is this like you're at school and this is what you're making it offended them and that's what it was supposed to do it was supposed to challenge the way that south asians look at women and what it means to be a, a good indian girl that was when we heard about the gang rape of jyoti singh and um, it was very hard for me to hear about it because she was my age and what happened to her was very very brutal and I thought, wow, like, I'm so fortunate because that could have been me. Like, what if we were still living in India? When I heard the comments about what they were saying about Jyoti Singh, I thought, wow, like, this is unbelievable. She is not Indian enough for India. Over here, I've always felt like I'm not Indian enough. And if you're there in India and you're actually just, you know, like living life like normal people do in 2012, when do Indian women catch a break? I was trying to plan my work for the following semester and I realized that I have some very strong opinions on the way that women are perceived in South Asian culture and that my painting that I had just done of myself, you know, the way it was being received and that in India, the way that some politicians were also receiving this news about this girl. I was like, you know what, I think this is what I'm going to do because it's being received as it should be by my own family. Like, what's going to happen if I open the work up to the public? I really wanted to use these pinups to talk back to some of the patriarchal expectations of women that are married or gonna get married or unmarried. You know, show this perspective of like real South Asian women. Earlier this year, I got a lot of exposure. Um, one of the articles written about me online was uh, completely in Hindi. And when my parents read the article about you know, the writer's perception of my work and what that means about the societal role um, and perception of South Asian women, I felt like they understood it more. Also seeing that India was so well, like was receiving my work so well, made them feel even better. Now they want to entice conversation about some of the issues that, um, that are being discussed in the work. I think that has been the most rewarding thing for our family. Over time, as I kept creating more work, I think they started to see why that work, that painting was so important to me, because it was the beginning of all of these ideas. I've had so many emails from people saying that they feel empowered by my work, um, and that's what I wanted to do. I want people to feel good when they see it. I want people to talk about what they're seeing when they see it, and then keep hopefully making an impact.